certifications that are available in this field. The foundational knowledge that you would require is a graduate in computer science or any IT security related field. Most of the universities nowadays provide this kind of certifications. You should have solid grounds in IT fundamentals. That means you should be technically very adept. You should understand how protocols work, how networking works. You should be somewhat conversant with some scripting languages and should be able to understand programming. Knowing networking and mastering networking is a very fundamental requirement. Even if you later on decide to go into application security and you're looking at programming languages, applications still work over the network and you need to know how these networks are going to be configured and how data is going to be transmitted over this network. Coding skills. Like I said, programming, not from a developer's perspective, but at least good enough to understand how the program functions, what the flaws may be in the programming code that has been given and how you can break that particular code. That is what is required. A few scripting languages like PHP, Perl, Python, Ruby, uh, they would be a lot helpful at this point in time. Maybe bash scripting or PowerShell scripting as well. And then our understanding of the architecture of an operating system. We just don't want to know how the operating system works and how it functions. We should be able to troubleshoot the operating system to recover from errors, flaws, and we should know how the operating system works, stores data, and interacts with the hardware in, at the first place. With everything, there is now cloud. And cloud is gaining traction a lot. We got public clouds like Amazon, Microsoft, and Google. We got private clouds like VMware, uh, My Microsoft again, Citrix, and so on and so forth. Most of the organizations in today's world have a hybrid environment where they've got a part physical IT infra and part cloud infrastructure. So learning what cloud is, the nuances of cloud, the services that a cloud can provide, software as a service, infrastructure as a service, and platform as a service, understanding them, and then knowing how you can secure these or what the vulnerabilities are in the first place and then trying to secure them is of very much a sense in today's world. Over a period of time, you will have to learn cloud security to be relevant in today's world, especially with IoT, artificial intelligence and machine learning uh, picking up pace and then malware analysis and reverse engineering. So let's say there's a new virus that has been released and there's an antivirus company who's working to figure out how the virus works, what are the signatures that are created by the virus, and this is where those malware analysis skills come into the picture. Even in real terms or in normal terms, if you're working in an organization and if a machine has been infected or is suspected of an infect infection, you need to investigate the machine to identify whether it was a worm, virus or a trojan and need to take effective action to prevent further compromise from happening. And that is why uh, mal malware analysis is of importance as well. The certifications that you have, certified ethical hacker, it will train you in reverse engineering. So this is where you basically look at offensive security. This is where you're looking at hacking and you're looking at how um, the methodologies, the five steps that we have talked about. And this course deals with each and every one of those five steps and helps you analyze and understand the tool sets and the skills that are required for each of that particular step. Salaries may range between 71,000 US dollars and above in the US market and around, around 5 lakh rupees and more in the Indian market. After CEH, we have got the ECSA slash LPT course. ECSA is the EC Council Certified Security Analyst course. Once you get certified on that, you can then apply for the LPT, which is the Licensed Penetration Tester. So it's for CEH, then ECSA, EC Council Certified Security Analyst, and then LPT, Licensed Penetration Tester. This gives certified penetration testers the opportunity to practice their skills and gives you a license where you have uh, and a certificate that proves that you have understood the methodology and are very adept at the skills of hacking. 